fills the halls and classrooms of River Hill due to the amazing art department that offers loads of creative freedom and endless opportunities. Hi, we're Catherine Ra and Jazzy Bourne from The Current, and we're going to be tuning in to what the art students are working at on at the moment. The art department offers several levels ranging from Art 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5, in addition to AP and UT credits. With each level comes more freedom of expression and the ability to choose your own projects and focuses. I spoke with junior Becca Labner about her artistic journey this year so far. <laughs> Alright, so what's your name and what grade are you in? I'm Becca and I'm in 11th grade. I take Art 4 and I also take Art Studio. Alright, and so I know Art 3 and 4 has been working around a topic um, throughout the year, so do you have a topic and what you've been working on? Yeah, I have my AP portfolio I've been working towards and I'm sort of working on like dystopias and how they impact the world around us and how they kind of I guess tell a lot about what is actually going on. Right now I'm working on a piece about architectural beauty so it's sort of um, about uh, appreciating the historical significance of things while also acknowledging that for things to move forward you might have to you know rebuild over old buildings and make way for new eras. Sure. So what medium is this like new piece? Um, this one's in gouache and I love looking in gouache. It's like a mixture of watercolor and acrylic. Yeah. So what's your typical day like in art class? Um, basically we go in and get started and Miss Smith usually gives us like a little uh, few minute intro. And then we sort of just go our own ways and we all get our own materials and we can talk with friends. It's it's a really chill time and it's very self giving Oh, that's so nice. You get yeah. lots of creative freedom. Yeah. Definitely. Just as Becca said, there is really no limit to what can be made during this art period, as all students have full freedom to use whatever materials they would like and can come up with any idea that they would want to investigate. Speaking of, junior Mira Kaparti expressed how she's using this art, art project to represent glitter. So tell me like what a typical day in like art class is like for you. Um, well, it depends on what I'm doing. So right now we are in the middle of just working on pieces. So uh, this art should be, depending on where you're at, the third AP piece if you're taking the AP class. So right now I'm in the middle of that, but then another day would be planning for that. So um, drawing compositions and stuff like that. Yeah. So is most of your class just based on like the AP like, portfolio? Well, my class is composed of two, three groups. Four groups actually now that I think about it. It's art three, art four, and then um, art it's not it's called new form, so it's like art five. And then of those people you're either taking an AP or you're doing independent research thing. Yeah. So it's like a pretty like independent like class, right? You kinda like pick what you want to know. Yeah. So tell talk about the projects that you're working on right now. Sure, so um, my it's it's for the uh, my PR piece, and we have to make a portfolio centered around the theme. My theme is gluten because I have a gluten allergy. So the piece that I'm working on right now is a roulette board, and it's to show the the risk of gluten. How you don't really know what you're getting, you don't really know what can be in stuff. So it's very risky when I go out to eat. It's scary stuff like that. Yeah, that's actually really cool. So like, what kind of like are all your pieces like the same? Like uh, so this is oil paint, and I have another piece that's oil paint, but then I have another one that is in a total other direction. It's charcoal. Oh, cool. Yeah. Which one do you like doing more? I love oil paint, although I didn't expect to like charcoal as much as I did. So cool. I like to check that charcoal out. Yeah. As I mentioned before, the higher the level of the class, the more freedom the class entails. Senior Ashika Balaji is an Art 5 independent study student and decided to choose a year-long project that she had dreamt of doing since she was little. I spoke with Ashika on the details of her project and you can really tell how River Hill allows for art students to nurture their artistic creativity and individuality. I'm Ashika Balaji, I'm a senior. And what art level are you in? I'm in Art 5, which is independent study. Right now, I'm working on a mural that should take me the whole year, so I'm doing it in the intern mentor classroom and it's just um, kind of like a flowchart of how the independent research and intern mentor classes work. Mm, so what's your typical day like doing art at River Hill? Yeah, so I mean, since it's in the classroom, I usually don't even go to art class. I'll just say hi, you know, like check in and then I'll um, grab my paints and then I'll just usually be um, painting the whole class. Mm -hmm. How did you like get started with this project? Like did you get asked to do it or decided to like, I don't know. Yeah, I mean like, 
ever since I was little, I really wanted to do a mural. The idea of having something so big and permanent that was made by me was really cool. And so then this year, since I'm doing independent study and I kind of get to work on my schedule, um, it was like a perfect opportunity to finally make that happen. And then Ms. Sharwa gratefully agreed to um, letting me do it in her classroom last year. So yeah, that's kind of how that started. So as an art student, do you get like a lot of creative freedom to kind of do like whatever you want? Yeah, yeah. I think even with the AP um, like program, you still have um, a good amount of creative freedom because you get to pick what you want to focus on mm. and then like independent study is kind of the epitome of creative freedom with time as well so I think that's really nice. So you have outside projects outside of like the mural you're working on now? Yeah yeah so we have like homework pieces as well um, so right now I'm doing like a charcoal piece. The way these students use art to show something that might be unspoken about and how they're creating, well, art. Wrapping up what this class can entail is senior Emma Ku, who touched on everything from her favorite way to express herself to how she can create artwork just out of what she feels from certain pieces of music. Yeah, so are you working on a specific project right now? Uh, yeah, actually. Um, I'm working on a four-piece series, so I don't know what to tell them quite yet, but they're all um, all these pieces are based on a specific song. Um, they one song is a little more peaceful, sounds very springy, you know. One of them is really intense, um, sounds very painful. If that makes any sense. Um, yeah, those are two of the examples. One of them is also kind of sad, a sad song. And the other one is a little more exciting, something you can you know. Um, dance around it when you're walking down the streets. Yeah. So, yeah. Kind of a good mix of everything. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So are all these pieces paintings? Yeah, they're all being painted in gouache. There are so many talented students who put everything on the line and showcase what is truly meaningful to them. As we learned about how much effort goes into each and every piece, it's time to give some props to these students, especially the four that were passionate enough to dive deep into what art means to them and what it can mean for other people here.